Today we're at a full service shop. <laughs> it's freezing out here. Today, we got Austin here. Thank you so much for meeting up with me. I do no appreciate problem. it. Thanks. Gosh, look at this setup. Goodness, and this car is massive. Gosh, so how long have you had your box here? Got it a couple months ago. Really? Special order on the Snap-on truck. I don't think I've ever seen this color before. Yeah, and they I'm, call it oh, Combat Tan. It's got, it's like a flat sheen, huh? Yeah, it's a powder coat. Whoa, that is sweet. And so you custom ordered the color and everything? Yeah. So yeah. how does that work when you're ordering, uh, like do they have like swatches like at Lowe's or something? Or like they, you just look through a book or something? They brought in a truck that just has toolboxes in it and all the different like samples of all the different colors and options. and Like a whole different truck? The whole, yeah, the whole truck was what? just toolboxes. Wow. And uh, so you could sample all the colors and the feels and the, all the different trims and that's crazy it has this power top with the rhino or the yeah the bed, bed liner. liner yeah yeah that's sweet and so this is your cart here this is my cart slash mini toolbox this is massive i've never seen a cart that needed extra casters <laughs> right and this one i measured it out at 72 inches long oh my so it's God. bigger than half of the co-workers <laughs> toolboxes alone uh, yeah i think max the only one that makes them um, with bolt-on accessories. Really? Yeah. It closes up pretty nice and... Oh, that's sweet. Locks down and the sides open up. Whoa! So you got more So do you ever keep anything here. in there? Not really, because okay. typically these are open. Oh, gotcha. This is my, the main socket area. <laughs> that's a, is this, this the 3-8 set? This is the 3-8 set, yeah. Uh. This was... Uh, this was fun. This was a good fun purchase other than the money, but I really dig the foam. Yeah, that's a it, huge deal. I mean, it, some of it takes up, like the punches and chisels takes up a ton of room. Oh, sure. But the yeah. socket foam is awesome. Yeah. That's where it's at. Like I have the Vim rails, uh -huh. which are, are super cool because it's magnetic. You don't have to deal with making sure you're in straight. It just oh, kind okay. of yeah. goes in and, and grabs. Yeah. These are the magnet sockets. So they've got oh, the little magnet sweet. in there. Yeah, are those 12 or 6 point? Oh, 6, six point. point. Nice. And then uh, the uh, magnet wobble sockets. Oh, those are so nice. And so these, I don't use them a ton because they're super shallow. Oh, are they? And so, it's, but for putting a nut in or a bolt in, this, in a dash or right. somewhere yeah. deep, deep down in there where you just can't reach. Oh, I got big forearms. I don't. I don't make it into all the spots like I used to. Yeah, most of my most of my go-to sockets, I usually use the wobbles. They're my they're my go-to. Are there? I don't, and I don't know if everybody feels the same way, but I really enjoy the wobble sockets. My new favorite. I just finally got the uh, the semi deeps. Oh yeah. In the quarter inch, and the three eighths. You don't realize how much you need semi deeps until you get semi deeps, and you're like, "This yeah. is awesome." Yeah, I, I didn't have them for so long, <laughs> right? and then I was just kept coming across it where I was like, "God, oh, I wish I had a semi deep." Yeah. And then finally pulled the trigger, and I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> I can finally do th these things." Oh, I love it. So I'm guessing most of your stuff is going to be metric. Yeah, in here it's it's all okay. metric. Gotcha. I don't I don't I I mean I have standard stuff, oh, gotcha. but. I just hide it away because I hardly ever need it anymore. Then I got my wrench drawer here, Snap-on, Matco. Matco, these gear wrenches, reversible gear wrenches oh, yeah, are amazing. Nice. Oh, these are the Max, huh? These are the Max, these are the RBRT, oh, which yeah. are pretty cool. They've got uh, some crazy uh, yeah. How would you biting like, teeth in there. Like rate these compared to like your Flank Drive Plus? They're, they're probably a little better as far yeah. as like the twisted ones. Yeah. I still grab these. Oh, do eight out of ten times. Nice. But uh, these are supposed to take off twisted bolts, but I've actually I've seen them round bolts oh, no. themselves. <laughs> so it's the the box end is is super tight though. There, I don't I don't think you could ever round one off on the really? box end. It actually I mean it even takes some little work to like get it oh, get really? it planted. These are my new favorite. These I I made it. 
20 years, 25 years in the industry. We uh -huh. didn't even know these were a thing. <laughs> and uh, co-workers pulled one out one day and I was like, what is that? Yeah. It's like, I've got to get that. These, yeah. these are my go-to things, I, even if I don't need leverage, because they just, they're so versatile. You can get into anywhere yeah. with them and you can reach way high with them. And right. they did an upgrade, so I broke the 14, so they updated it to the new design, which oh, has a switch now. switches here instead of there, which is cool because these ones, you'd be ratcheting it away and you'd bump the button, oh. and then you're just going crazy, and then you realize, <laughs> oh, I'm going the wrong way for the last <laughs> oh, five <God>. seconds. <laughs> Uh, my standard kind of go-to pliers here, the hyped-up snap-on, uh -huh. they're pretty cool. Um, oh, those are the wild. new Nipex uh, wire strippers, Whoa. those are pretty fun. Huh, that's cool. I got the, the new uh, snap-on hose clamp pliers. Oh, wow. And they grip Do they? something fierce. Yeah, they don't, they don't let go. You've got those crazy spring-loaded, scary yeah. grenade ones. Yeah, like covering your And you teeth, just, like yeah, <laughs> you just grab them and oh, go wherever sweet. you want with them, and they don't slip at all. That's like, I like these trays. What are these from? These are just your Amazon trays. They, I mean, they're cheap, but they've really been a good upgrade. Yeah, they look nice. This guy here is the Matco universal uh, oxygen sensor socket oh, okay. yeah. and uh, it's got all the different teeth so it's designed to take off rounded ones. Oh wow. So we had a customer come in with one he attempted at home mm -hmm. just wrecked it and my boss was like oh man this is going <laughs> to be ugly it's going to be a hundred dollars oh. or more just to, to get it off and it was right there easy to get to and I was like I got this don't worry. <laughs> Whoop. No just way. went came right off instantly wow. just grabbed came right off I went back to him 30 seconds later with the oxygen <laughs> sensor in hand and his, he was just like floored. The ratchets and extensions yeah. kind of moved, kind of converted one of these trays for extensions because they were always just yeah. so rolling around crazy. That's the same tray oh, that I use okay. as my uh, pliers. Looks like you have all snap-on ratchets, huh? Well, mostly. This is Matco breaker bar oh, okay. and this is the Matco, it's the thinner. Oh, okay, yeah. And I use this on the Honda V6 timing belts because oh. I can get the uh, the mount bracket out without taking the mount out with the thin head. Oh, nice. Oh, I love these hard handles. Those oh, yeah, the hard handles are though the best. Yeah. I unfortunately had got stuck with a couple of soft handles because gotcha. that's what they had. This was my first ratchet I ever bought. Oh, nice. 28 years ago. <laughs> oh, man. Still kicking. Awesome. And then his little brother, about the same age. Yeah, you can tell, like, see how, like, they get chewed up and grabbed. Yeah. Or is, like, the hard handle. They're just yeah. they're so nice. This one here, this is the custom 3 8 Bought it as a quarter inch. Oh, okay. And then we swapped out the guts and ah. the internals because they don't make this ratchet in a quarter inch, but oh, really? you can get the head and everything. Not That's the head, sweet. but the, ge the gears uh -huh. in 3 8 And so I wanted the 3 8 Yeah. Super small one. That's nice. Do you have a ratchet that's like your go-to that you reach for every day? Um, I mean, it all just depends on what I'm going for. This one is my new kind of go-to because it's smaller. Uh -huh. A lot of things I don't need. Right. A ton of leverage. So this is kind of my go-to because I can really feel where I'm going and it's like the 90 teeth or something. Yeah. So it's super fine tooth. This is my favorite though, the, the long, super long blue handle. That's nice but a lot of times it's just too much oh, okay. handle. <laughs> but when you need it, it's good. You're glad you have it. I love this half inch where it's not like the super long one, but it's like you still have yeah. some leverage on it. Yeah, know? this one was, uh, this was my go-to for a long time. And then I, was, I wanted the longer handle, mm -hmm. traded this in towards the longer handle. Oh, okay. And then two weeks later, I bought a new one of these because I was like, that was stupid. <laughs> and so I lost money on that deal. <laughs> but uh, luckily, cool. my Snap-on guy takes care of me. He likes me. So <laughs> there's the power drawer. Oh, so it looks like you're a Milwaukee guy. I'm a Milwaukee guy. I had the Snap-on 3 8 and uh, it would lose to the uh, co-worker's Milwaukee 3 8 Oh, really? On the regular. I just kind of was like, you know, let's just do this, and I have more uniform charger system. Yeah. And, yeah, for sure. And these have been good. The, the half inch, though, I've sent it in three times, and it still makes weird noises. Really? 
So huh. I like the long, the long handle ones, and I have the high speed ones, so they go a lot faster. Oh, nice. And the, the high torque ones, the head is like massive. I didn't know that. I didn't it's, know that they're different sizes. Yeah, huh. so when you get the high torque one, you, you try to get it. I mean, quarter inch, you want it as small as possible. Right, yeah. And the high torque one is, is bigger, and the long handle, I had the short handle. I never used it, ever, right. ever. <laughs> and so I traded it in towards this, this grinder's awesome. It's, it's so good. It looks beefy. Yeah, it's so good, and it just goes and goes. Do you like this 3 8 then? The, the this 3 8 this is the high, high torque 3 8 Okay. So they make a half inch in the exact same body, but they have the exact same uh, torque ratio. Oh, really? And so I like 3 8 more. I might break more sockets than some people, but I prefer <laughs> the 3 8 because they're smaller. I can get them into places. Nice. It's just a little easier to to handle. And this one, I got my backup, some air tools. So do you use these? Oh, I guess you... I use my uh, my saw, my my, my uh, little saw here. I use that quite regularly. And then obviously my buffer wheels, I use those. Uh -huh. Every once in a while, the 3 8 this snap on 3 8 is just a powerhouse. Oh, yeah. Sometimes this, the, the, uh, the Milwaukee just doesn't cut it. They don't oh, have enough. Oh, gotcha. They don't uh, impact like mm. this does. And mm -hmm. so if you've got a stubborn one, this will impact it off where the Milwaukee have to switch to a hand tool. Gotcha. Yeah, I always love that little button design on, on this Yeah, one. it's nice. It keeps it out of the way. And yeah. And over here, we've got some more wrenches, most cheap Amazon scanner that actually does a pretty dang good job. Nice. Got the Blue Point oh, see, this mini is a nice ratchets. There are, there are very few, uh, I've noticed, companies that make just like stubby Ratcheting wrenches that are reversible like that. Yeah, I, I, I like the reversible over flipping them because if they're the flip style, you can't get the angle. Right. And sometimes you really just need the angle. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, gear wrench set, and it's about the same size, right. but you got to flip them over, and right. you don't get the angle, and there's a lot of times where you just need it. Yeah. I know uh, Icon is one of the only other uh, um, companies that do that. The min and the extra 10 millimeter, apparently. Oh, man, keep that safe. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> got picks and poppers. Nice. This Mac hammer has been my go-to hammer for years. It's awesome. It looks small and people look at it like, oh, the head's too small. And then they grab it and they're like, wow, that <laughs> thing has some serious <laughs> power to it. It seems like, a, like the handle is a lot longer. Yeah, you got a lot too. of length on it. So you can really, I mean, you can bang ball joints out nice. with this rather than getting the press out to bang them out and stuff. Nice. And so this, this is an awesome hammer. Got my my air hammer. Look at that monster. Holy yeah, cow, that it's, looks massive. It's been around a few blocks. It's starting to get worn out. Oh, is it? it look, I guess it does look kind of outdated, huh? Yeah, it, I mean, it was top of the line back when I got it, but I mean, it still does its job. Does it? So. Nice. The Milwaukee Sawzall gets its own drawer. Nice. That thing's a beast. <laughs> is it? That is, that is the, the go-to, yeah. I mean, Obviously, cordless is better. Sure. But that thing is amazing. Then I got the the weird specialty stuff down here. The extended hose clamp pliers. The uh, this guy is pretty awesome. What is that? A super heavy duty uh, ball joint separator or wow, tie rod separator. Different. Huh. And uh, see so yeah, how you twist it here, and it pushes uh, the okay, yeah. the ball joint out of the uh, the knuckle or whatever. Yeah. Um, with the other attachments on it. Oh, like different sizes? Yeah, so you can kind of customize it and get, get exactly what you need. My oh. coworker has one, the, the, the Harbor Freight Specials, and it's just got pins. Uh -huh. So it's really limited to where you've got one, one adjustment for oh, size goes. Sure, yeah. And this, I can spin it around, get whatever kind of size or width huh. that I need. And then it's heavy duty enough that you can just send it huh. all day and you're not going to break this. That's sweet. <laughs> so there's that one. And the other cool thing about this box too, it's got the soft close. I was noticing that. And it just, it does, you're not slamming. Oh, and you, if, when you're really pissed, you can slam. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's nice that it doesn't yeah. kind of slam so hard. Yeah. Uh, side locker is just kind of a, a mess right now. I've been trying to do a little bit of paint on my truck. And oh, okay. I keep my long hammer in here. And, nice. But this nice. card is... I love it. The, the Mac guy has one in a combat green. Oh, really? Like the, the OD green. Yeah. And I was thinking the green with the combat tan oh. would look super cool. Yeah. 
but then I'd have to get more a new locker, and uh, you know, it just <laughs> yeah. like I oh, can't oh, do it, man. can't do it. All so right. is this like a jack or a yeah. stand? This is uh, the the pogo jack made by Snap On. The cool thing is it's got the uh, quick release and the quick drop. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. So it seems like half the time you spin and spin and spin, right, and it takes yeah. you five minutes to get up to where you're going. Yeah. And this just lets you get get to work and that's keep nice. working rather than spending time. I just can't get over that. It's so nice. Be tough to bring it to work. You're like, huh. I know, right? <laughs> I kind of don't like having it this close to the doors and stuff. Yeah. And it makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah. Coworkers come in on the weekends and work oh, on their own yeah. stuff, and I'm just like, just don't, just don't bang my box. <laughs> so it looks like you have the built-in light. Is that? Yeah. Well, it's not built in. It's a magnet. Oh, it's that a magnet okay. that uh, mounts up on the top. Awesome. And it just comes on when you open the hutch, I guess? Yeah, it's got a, a sensor on it, oh, so okay. it turns off. And I like these hutches because they have the assisted opening with the, you know, the Yeah, shops. and that was another reason I kind of went with Snap-on, because this just comes right down. Oh, the Matco one, you have to pull it all the way out right. and then swing it down. Yeah, so what all do you keep up here? Um, mostly just kind of customized. My son got me that. My daughter made me that. Oh, that's cool. So I can just kind of display a little bit of my some of my likes and interests, yeah. my seven, you know, my Chevy square body. Oh, uh, that's cool. You know, <laughs> you know, my laptop, obviously, yeah. some of the smaller chargers. All right, it looks like your lights. Do you have a go-to light that you? Um, currently, do? I'm digging this uh, wedge. Oh, that's sweet. Just small. Um, I wear, when I'm working, I wear something. My pants have a cell phone kind of pocket, and I just okay. slide that into the cell phone pocket. Oh, nice. And it's just always right there, easy access. That's really the top. It's kind of a waste of space, I ah, guess. I like it, so but, it's like, like but your I, own office. Yeah, right? I have a little personal space, right. and I can feel like I'm kind of at home a little bit. Yeah, sure. So I did order also the top locker piece. Oh, really? So that'll be here in a few more weeks. Oh, that cool. Yeah, it was kind of, other than my fridge, it'll be like so much higher, I won't be able to get to it anymore. I'll have to find another way to do it. But this is the uh, the main box, and it's just the 30 inches deep. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. So I've got more GP, the uh, tie rod socket. What is that? It's for like zipping a tie rod off, and then you hit the impact on it. Put the tie rod arm in here like that. Oh, and it spins it out. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Huh. Oh, so you could use this. At, wait, how does that work? Because wouldn't the tie rod turn while you're spinning? Well, yeah. So when you're put, replacing the new one, you slide this on there and, and you hit it and it just. Whoosh, oh, so it just spins. breaks it loose. Huh. So it breaks it loose and that's neat. zips it out of there because sometimes they're super rusty yeah. and huh. difficult. Other times it just rips the ball right out oh, and no. sends it across <laughs> the shop, which is pretty awesome, unless you're in the way. Oh, man, um, you got some nice torque wrenches there. I, I upgraded. I had the, the Matco 3 8 and uh, I needed the half inch. Nice. I had a really good deal on the promo for this, so I traded in the Matco one and got, awesome. the, uh, got the combo. Here's a couple of the Matco ratchets I've oh, got yeah. and some old Craftsman I've had for years, some old uh, hub sockets. That's a cool looking set. It's just like a yeah. This is just your set. little mini bit set. A little ratchet. That's cool. The little ratchet and stuff. So this is good for like dash work and different, you know, super tight applications. But yeah. it's a Amazon special. A lot of stuff I I prefer to get off the truck. I like to support the guys because oh sure they come and they bring me warranties and they come here and it makes nice. it easier for me to for me to just keep doing my job. And Absolutely. Yeah. I don't want to deal with Amazon. Yeah. warranties and <laughs> yeah. just, you know I don't know maybe it's easier than I think it is I've never done it but so I, don't I, don't, I don't know yeah. I, I, I don't mind supporting them you know they take care of me so for sure I try to take care of them I've got the uh, extra long Whoa. torx oh, bit set super long oh my goodness sometimes too long but when you need something <laughs> you know it's like again it's, yeah <laughs> these are nice because you can get really into some yeah. some spaces with them yeah we have an extension you got like that big like it doesn't always fit yeah you got the knob in the middle and right. sometimes like this is way skinnier than this and so you can't this doesn't fit but this right. does yeah yeah got the 0.5 socket set for the uh, swollen oh, lug nuts yeah <laughs> it's the dumbest like invention the, in the whole world the dodge like the rams and stuff yeah the, yeah lots of them are switching to it ford's doing it really? all these people are doing it and it's like 
you got a five-year-old truck and the lug nuts are junk. The customer right. on the side of the road, they're screwed. They can't, oh they can't take the tire off because they don't have a 19.5 or a 21.5. Right. Or... So whenever I see those, I, if they're swollen, I try to, I try to convince the customer. You do, you're doing yourself a favor <laughs> right. to get some different lug nuts. Yeah. Twelve-point sockets. I hardly ever use them. I don't <laughs> recommend them to anybody. Yeah. When I started, I bought a Craftsman set that came with, you know, the huge Craftsman set. Mm -hmm. And over the years. I've given away like all the 12 point <laughs> to like new mechanics, like oh, kids gotcha. that come in and they don't have the tools. I'm like, here, have a set of sockets. Gotcha. Um, I don't need them. Oh, that's cool. So I try to help people out. This industry seems like it's dying as far as new guys. It is. It's and uh, it's kind of good because the pay's gone up. Right. But then at the same time, like everything's more expensive. So like, you're making way more money than yeah. you used to, but still broke. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, in this one, I've got some more torques. Yeah. It's kind of a dead set. I keep these ones, most of those, in the cart. Just, oh, okay. I have a little magnet there that nice. holds them all. I've ordered the RBRT bit set. Oh, did you? Like three months ago. They put them really? on promo. You get the standard and the metric, mm -hmm. and it was like 100 bucks off if you get, you know, for the set. And I'm like, I like 100 bucks off. Let's get them. Yeah. Oh, they're on back order. Like, Why the Dang. heck would you put them on the in the flyer yeah. on promo for something you don't even have in stock? Uh. So every week I keep asking the guy, did they come in? Did they come in? And then now they've pushed it back to January 15th. Uh. And that's going to be four months of waiting Gosh. for the promo that's four months old. Huh. I've got the kind of small, messy wrench slash whatever kind of drawer. You can really tell, like, I, I don't mean anything like in a bad way, but you can tell like you're you're still sorting things out. And it's yeah. like, like when you go for, like what box did you have before this? I had a Matco 6S. Okay. So probably didn't have as much like space. It didn't have, I mean, it's a good sized box, but like these, it's kind of hard to organize your custom Craftsman <laughs> yeah. sockets. Like they don't make really anything to put them in. Right. So this is a nice um, set here. Yeah, these are these are cool. I don't use them very often, apparently, but <laughs> yeah, they're, this is a nice set here. And the crow's feet, I forgot I had these. It's I'm just a bit disorganized. I took four years off of the industry. Oh, did you? And then I, when I came back, I kind of forgot what I have and don't yeah. have, and that's why I forgot what the other tool is. I actually borrowed a crow's foot yesterday from. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I, I don't know. Apparently, I'm out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, at least you didn't buy like a whole other set. Right, that would be <laughs> that would be worse. Yeah. Mess of pliers. Not enough organization on the pliers still. My uh, feeler gauges exploded, so oh, no. I just kind of have a pile <laughs> of feeler gauges. Uh, this guy here is awesome. The the Nipex, the monstrosity Nipex. Those are ginormous. It's. Uh, it's a fun one to get out. You know you're having a good day when you have to get that out. <laughs> but uh, got the new mini snap on. I've only used it a couple times, but uh, nice. I had the huge one. dead blow, but I, I didn't have a small one it was in rubber. So oh, gotcha. valve adjuster bought for the Hondas. Oh yeah. It, it turns out it really only works on the uh, intake side. Really? Yeah, because there's no room to get to the exhaust side oh, on it. Oh no. I've got the. That's a nice set. Punch chisel set. It's nice having a handle. Yeah. You don't take your knuckles out every <laughs> yeah. other missed swing. Yeah. This thing's pretty cool. Holy the brush crap. set. That's so you can a clean out set. your calipers and yeah. slide pins and all those things. And huh. Exhaust ports or like EGR ports oh, and things like yeah. that. Works really good. That is sweet. Got the power probe soldering kit. I don't recommend to anybody. Oh, really? Yeah, just. It just doesn't work huh. like you want it to. Just get a cord. Oh, you used a cord, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just get a, just get a power one. This yeah. one sucks. Looks like you got the snap on snap ring pliers. Snap ring set. pliers, yeah. yeah. I've got the big ones. Nice. Because uh, when you, I don't know the the, the chinky sets, mm -hmm. they always slip. Oh yeah. And you just crush your knuckles, you, crush, <laughs> you know, and it's just a nightmare. And these things grab. And the new design is just a button. Nice. So those are those are cool. I have. The thread on one still. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I need to break this one so I can upgrade it. <laughs> right. <laughs> the long handle Matco. There's a another set of these uh, made by Milwaukee that's got a really trippy angle. Oh, really? So you can actually get in like really deep places without 
that opening up. Oh, nice. It's, I, I'll Are get you talking about day. the ones that have like two joints in it? No, they're, no I've got these, this two-jointed yeah. one here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But this still opens up really big in the middle. Uh-huh. So they've got, they're like a reversed, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. They've got a joint up here still, but then the angle, they angle them weird. And so uh -huh. they're opposite kind of when by the time you get to the hand. And when you open them up, they're super, super skinny because they kind of fold over themselves. Huh. It's it's weird design, but the messy nuts and bolts drawer. Nice. Nothing special there. Electrical drawer. Awesome. I hate this drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing. If I open this drawer, usually we're having a bad day. I don't like electrical, but uh, I can get it done. I've yeah. got all the things I need. Awesome. I like the basic. Um, Is this a Matco? Yeah, it's made by Mac or made for Matco. Right. Um, but it's just the basic one. It doesn't have 14,000 options. So right. It's just like, I don't know what the heck that does. And <laughs> I don't want to know just what that thing does. Like auto rage, and that's good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is awesome just because it's basic. The snap on kit for rebuilding uh, plugs and things. Nice. That's a go to. You got to have something like that. For sure. Um, these are pretty fun. Testing uh, relays. You put oh, it in there, yeah. and you can put your relay on top. Uh huh. And then you can poke for powers and stuff here without getting crazy. Yeah, so you could like probe like Yeah, each. you probe the sides nice. and instead of having the, the relay halfway out or, That's cool. or whatever. So those are cool. I got the two most common sets of those. Right. Then Power Probe makes these uh, What's that? weird, it's like a an amp thing. It's the, uh, it's, it basically shows you like if you hook it up to like your fan, you power your fan, it tells you how much amps the fan is really? pulling. And then you can handy. use this one and set it to where it regulates it to five amps or no. five volts. Huh. So if you start probing stuff and sending power, oh. you're not going to blow up your computer hitting it with 12 volts huh. when it can only handle the five. So that's, I didn't know that those method. are pretty cool. These are pretty new. Yeah, they just came out like the last Tool Expo. Huh. When I got the box, I was a couple, of, you know, a thousand away from $1,200 or $1,500 worth of rebates. So I, oh, spent, nice. I spent a little bit more money to get more rebates end yeah. up with the camera that I've been wanting. That's sweet. And it's, uh, it's got two cameras on it, so you can camera out the top and then it's got a camera on the side here. Pretty awesome little tool there. This is a super nice set. I always see this, I'm like, gosh, I need to get this something is, like Yeah, that. this is another Amazon deal. It's the same exact one that oh, they it? sell on some of the trucks nice. for a quarter of the cost. Yeah. They've got some of the plastic boxes, the ball joint press. Oh yeah. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to justify the new Matco one with the, the the scissors kind of style, where you can get oh. where it smushes them out this way instead of this because yeah. this is clunky and huge, uh -huh. and sometimes you got to bang the upper ball joint out to do the lower ball joint uh -huh. and, and stuff like that. And the other one just looks awesome. It does. It, yeah. it looks <laughs> awesome, but it's another twelve hundred dollars. Right. You know, it's just. <laughs> Yeah. I haven't seen anybody with the new with that style, uh, but I know OTC just came out with a new ball joint press um, that's really similar to the Snap-on, where like snaps. Oh, the all the pieces stuff. click together. Yeah, that would be cool if you're sticking with this setup. That's a good way to go because yeah. it seems like half the time you you set everything up and then all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. start over. Uh, Let's build this thing up again. Right. Compression tester. Oh, that's a solid set. You've got the Matco Master Set or yeah. whatever it is, but it's that's got cool. all the different pieces you need in there. Yeah. And then the Master Fuel Pressure Tester Set. Oh, nice. With all the different things. Yeah. I had to warranty out this guy a couple times now, unfortunately. Oh, but really? You get off pressure or is it just not? Well, it off? was showing zeros when I had pressure. Oh, that's not that's, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh man, we've got no pressure. <laughs> Oh, let's do a fuel that pump. That suck. Wait, I have pressure. Oh, the no. stupid gauge is broken. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's move over here. What do we got? Oh, this is the speed drawer. It's supposed oh, to be yeah. the speed drawer. I've got all the stuff to set it up. Gosh, I, I, love, I just love how like it's like a flat color. Yeah. It's not like super shiny. That's sweet. Yeah, I haven't, I, I, I still haven't had this very long. I'm not sure I'm going to set it up as a speed drawer because I need the drawer for stuff like right. screwdrivers and things. and. It's not too far of a walk to go get a couple zip ties right, or whatever. Yeah. I guess you could do like just partial. That's true. Of the drawer or something. That's yeah, cool. I'm not sure. I've got to watch a video to figure out how to even put it all together. Oh, okay. It's like got the 
extractors. Oh, yeah. And the other style extractors, the squares. Oh, yeah. Have you used those yet? Um, no, hmm. I don't think I have. These ones usually work nice. for what I need. The uh, Torx. Awesome. This was my inside the car set because they were clean. Oh, okay. And yeah. so I try to keep them clean. I'm missing one, and I've apparently found a different one for that. But nice. what's that guy? This is more snap-on foam. It just came with the the three-eighth set. It was on the end of it. Huh. And so it says miscellaneous. Oh. I cut it off. It was it was already kind of folded, just barely attached. Oh, okay. So I just cut it off and set it here because I haven't decided what or if yeah. I'll do anything with it. Oh. You can't throw it away. That's probably like 50 it's, bucks. <laughs> exactly. It probably is 50 bucks. <laughs> kind of random. Uh, get the punches and oh, yeah. different punch sets and Is that like a race sets. set? Like the that long one, which used for like races and stuff, or no, just oh, that's just like a long, huh. just a long punch. Jeez, those are huge. Go in there and center your yeah different things. Mostly like I'd use this mostly on like front ends, trying to get like a new control arm to line up and oh, put ram yeah. it in there, because it's strong enough you can really tug on it without breaking it or bending it. Got the brass, the brass, awesome, the Irwin drill bit set that apparently I can't figure out who I bought it from because I've approached all the trucks about getting warranties and they're like, oh, we don't sell that set. What? Oh, we don't sell that set. And I'm like, huh. well, where the heck did I buy it then? Dang it. <laughs> huh. Oh, well. Does that treat you pretty good though? It's been a really good set, yeah. There's kind of like an extra little point on the end you probably can't catch on the video, but huh. um, it's really easy to get That's started. Nice. Yeah. This is what I use to bleed out master cylinders. I, well, push that on there and then pull this out and it pulls the fluid through the master. That's genius. So you're not like trying to bleed it like... I'm not pumping it, I'm oh. just pulling the fluid through it, That's squirt genius. it back into the top, yeah. pull the fluid through it, cap it off huh. and then clean up your mess. Yeah. But yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. Awesome. Kind of the custom puller set, drawer, the... The random. So yeah, I got the so pullers. Is this is a hub puller for uh, like your three quarter ton and one oh, ton okay. dodges. And this thing works amazing. Does it? A lot of people use the, the thing, you turn the wheel and wedge it out and it pushes it out. Right, yeah. But this allows me to do it by myself. Nice. Without a, a helper and it's, it works 90% of the time. Does it? Sometimes you still gotta get the, the coworker to come to turn the steering oh, yeah. wheel for you. <laughs> but that thing's awesome. Awesome. What are these guys? The, oh, these are for putting, uh, lug studs on, oh. stud installers, oh, so that's, they grab the better. Oh, yeah, nice. These are like stuck on there. They're supposed to come off and go in the kit. Oh, and, and So okay. you've got all the different sizes. Oh. They make it so you, to get all the common sizes, you have to buy two kits, which oh. is super cool. <laughs> this is the O'Reilly's um, power steering puller set. Oh, okay. um, I've had the Matco ones, I've had all of them. This one has lasted longer and worked on more jobs than any of the other ones, and oh, I got that one at O'Reilly's. Nice. Which is kind of crazy. More miscellaneous, my slide hammer set. Cool. The, uh, what was that? The knife sharpener. Knife sharpener. Sharper. That's cool. Yeah, it's the, the <laughs> Ken Onion edition for anybody that's into knives. <laughs> awesome. So that's there. It's got the wrench I found on the ground one day. You found that? Yeah, How it was on the side of the road. That? Two, I don't know, a two inch, I just never used it. I was thinking about making a skateboard out of it. <laughs> just like doing some weird, crazy something. Uh, but uh, come over here, we got the paperwork, pens, bottle rockets. Nice. The tap and die set. Whoa, that's a massive set, huh? Yeah. Oh, this looks a lot like the Irwin set. I wonder, wonder if this is, I you know, it's Matco. It's so Matco. Probably, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Irwin made it. Yeah, because I think Snap-on made the exact same same thing, because they got it from Irwin as well. So. Yeah. Air horn back there. Air horn for <laughs> scaring people when they're not paying attention. <laughs> the power drawer. Yeah, I love how deep these are. So yeah, nice. I think if I were to build buy this box again, I'd get not the power drawer. Oh, really? Because it is so deep, it takes up four drawers worth of space. Oh, it does, huh? So when I moved into this box, I wasn't done emptying the 6S and I didn't have space. Really? And it was because I lost so oh. much space here. Yeah. 
in the power drawer. But it is nice to have my chargers not on top of the box, sure. not taking up space. Yeah. Uh, I've got the drill, the fuel drill, the 3 8 Matco, the stubby half inch. Oh, that's sweet. Which is awesome. You I've can get into um, cranks without having to take the radiator off. Oh, stuff man. Stuff like that. I didn't even know they made that. Yeah, that guy's, that guy's cool. Huh. The old faithful snap on. 725, that's sweet. When that one's broke, you get the Ingersoll. Nice. Then I've got an extra drill that I just had for years. And awesome. the one rebel of the group here. <laughs> that's a cool light. Yeah, this is the new the snap on magnet light. It flips oh, around. Well, you can cool. stick it under a dash and flip it open. And yeah. Is the, it pretty bright? Oh, yeah. It's. Oh, geez. Yeah. But yeah, it'll. That's awesome. It'll blind you. Miscellaneous fireworks. Carburetor kit that you don't have to use anymore. And I've been upgrading into the Vim, so I've got a bunch of extra stupid things there. Nice. Bought the magnetic sheets so what? I can hang stuff inside the, the oh, car. Oh, okay. Right yes. there. I yeah. stuck one to the back of that Snap on sticker oh, from like cool. the 80s, and yeah. I didn't want to unstick it or find out it didn't work. Oh, yeah. So I put a magnet on it. Plus, you can move it later on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But that, I mean, just that sticker, because it's from the 80s, cost me like 15 bucks. Cool. I was like, I don't want to stick it. And right. And <laughs> I'm out 15 bucks. What if yeah. I don't like the spot? <laughs> and then just more kind of random. Dude, that's a ton of license plates. Yeah, when I was doing work at the used dealership, we had to take all the plates off. And so I didn't keep any Utah ones because oh, those okay. are boring. But yeah. I just kept other ones and do stuff like the... The name badge out of license oh, plates yeah. kind of thing or people like to collect the different states or, yeah. or whatever so i just snagged them and still have them <laughs> that's cool but uh that's about it that's Man, that's, that's the setup i love that and it, this color is just so nice yeah ah, sweet set and then when you get those top cabinets oh my gosh yeah that's gonna look sweet yeah i'm excited about it i'll be able to hide most of that yeah close it up and it'll look pretty yeah gosh i love it well austin i really do appreciate you uh, taking time out of your day yeah, to, no to meet up with me thank you gosh that awesome cart too love it hope you guys enjoyed it till the next one we'll see you <laughs>